to Tony. If a creature should greet him, as most of them did, he'd nod and he'd smile from under his lid. He secretly envied the stoat and the fox. Their speed made him feel like an old cardboard box. so much I lack. But what can I do with a house on my back? The cow overheard him and said, Very well. If that's how you feel, then come out of your shell. Come out of my shell? What a marvelous idea! Tony was happy for the first time that year. A big spinning spider, whose business was sports, spun Tony a pair of Go Faster shorts. Then Tony retired to the back of a bush, and immediately started to heave and to push. A rabbit in passing paused in mid-hop, as out of the leaves flew a shell with a pop. Then Tony appeared, full of laughter and glee, dancing and shouting, I'm free! Yes, I'm free! He called to the rabbit, the fox, and the stoat, his shyness all gone, as indeed was its coat. But before he could say, uh, how do you do? They stared, and they said, what kind of creature are you? Even his best friends, the cow and the pony, refused to believe that this creature was Tony. The Tony they knew was quiet and serene, and didn't run round with a yell and a scream. Tony pondered his problem. Then to add to the strain, it turned really cold and started to rain. He couldn't find shelter under cow or the pony, for they were both searching, trying to find Tony. He started to wonder if he'd been a bit dim, for without his shell, no one recognized him. Who is he? He whispered, and a badger called Paul said, His face looks familiar, but that's about all. Tony shouted and jumped and called out, It's me! But without his shell, they just let him be. It wasn't much fun to be all alone. Tony wished he was back in his snug little home. So quick as he could, that's just what he did. He squeezed himself back in his tortoiseshell lid. The cow and the pony were surprised and delighted. And so was the tortoise. At last, he'd been sighted. His friends were all anxious to know where he'd been. They spoke of a stranger that they had all seen. The stranger was loud and nothing like Tony. They'd all known at once that the creature was phony. The tortoise agreed, for all was now well. He was at one with himself and at peace with his shell. <laughs> 